Okay, so we've done a recap. <laughs> no questions? <laughs> Said uh, our goal is to. This is a uh, Imperial Commerce Guild, Independent Commerce Guild. Sorry, Independent Commerce Guild. So our general idea is to uh, beat up on them. Uh, the thing is, is our main fleet. are here. There's nothing to do too much going on here. Although we could hmm, say I've got some patrol fleets out there. You guys are patrolling here because there's been pirate activity in this area so we're, they're patrolling that lane there. Same thing here. We do have a station here. So, Miss Components, Weapon Components, Advanced Electronics. Ouch. What's the problem here? Ah, need more ore. So, ore is the problem. Ah, food and stuff for the humans. But that's okay. So, this is one of my smaller stations. I should say, not so much smaller. Well, it is a smaller station, but it's newer, too. Still with the room to expand. It's basically, where is it? It's um, here, Paulus Massa. So they're basically, basically providing technically supplies to our stations here if they need to, because it's only one, two, three, maybe not. One. Oh, sorry, one, two. Yeah, it's only three jumps, so that's within range, no problem. So they're producing support parts if they need them over here, in theory. That's one of our stations. And we have a station up here in a NOAT space, which is... There, there. So these guys, making parts for the NOAT. Uh, faction to build their ships, so we're making money off of this, or should be. What happened? Oh, we just took all that money away. <laughs> See, they they get up to a little bit of money, and then we just go, nope, we need that. Silicon Reapers. Plasma Conductors. Donium. Hmm. So we got a nice little economy going on. We're buying stuff from them. They're buying stuff from us. Ninja parts, smart chips. So it's not too bad. And again, these are end end of the line products. Basically, just sell these or use them. You either sell them to somebody else or you use them to make ships yourself. These are the parts to make the parts. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. We'll let the economy do the economy. Uh, what else? Oh, I was going to... I need to build a couple of ships to take over our main fleet's role over M Mustafar. Mustafar. So I need to make some corvettes to patrol this system. Just to keep the bad guys under control. So, that's your job over here. So we're going to buy some ships. So Corvettes, what we'll do is we'll do high preset, add that there. And we'll do, well, basically we're going to do two and two. So one for, you know, the, the general role. It's got, it's got some missiles, got a lot of guns, and then the other one has more missiles, not so many guns. 
So four of them should be fine. And that will take uh, too terribly long. Eh, seven minutes per Corvette. That's okay. Freighters. We have, any freight we have a couple of freighters floating around. Okay. You. Oh, I'm sorry. We determined that. Very busy. Sign these guys here for now. Trade for Commander. Okay, so our wharf. All these ships not working for them. So I have two acclimators that we bought for this place. So they're being not super useful. Or at least this one is. He's just sitting there. He's not really doing anything, just carrying all water. Water module prefabs. Try more dock oh docking with water. That makes sense. Again, water apparently we need for some reason we're buying the water, but I'm not sure why. Lots of water. Why do we need so much water? We have... Let's look on. Ice. We're full of water. The only thing we need water for is... No reason, apparently. Are we making our own food? We are not even making our own food. We should make our own food here. I thought we were, though. We were hit. What? By what? Confirmed. Run, freighter, or sorry, miner. Run. Okay, so you again I don't Yeah, we're not making our own food on the station, or are we? Oh, scroll down. No, we're still not making any food. So we want to make our own medical supplies and own food on this wharf so we don't have to get it from anywhere else. And that'll give the water some purpose. <laughs> That's just sitting around in ships not doing anything. Right? Yeah, I don't see any food parts, so. Now we've got a little bit of room to play around with. Okay, so we need food. It's not at the bottom of the list, right? So we got agricultural goods, meat, spice, food rations, medical supplies. These are all related. Basically, agricultural goods, meats, and spices go to food rations, and medical supplies are use some of that stuff too, I think. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze you in. Do that, or we can. Let's bring you this way. Pull you off and put you there. So that's uh, agricultural goods. Meat, same deal. Doesn't matter where they're spinning, does it? That's good. And the spices. Spices, and then can be rotated this way too. Yep. G. 
So you guys go there. Then we actually need the actual food rations to be made. They can stand up there. And medical supply. Some reason it flips upside down, but that doesn't really matter. That's fine. So that'll work. So our construction thing is looking at. We don't have a builder assigned, so we need to find a builder for this. Uh, let's see. Oh, look, we have somebody right here in the area. Have that guy work for us, and we will accept the estimated cost of $1.4 to get all that stuff built. And then we look at our station overview. It should be at the top. There we go. So our water. Now the water is going to be used for spices, agricultural goods, and meat. which will then be used for medical supplies and food rations. We already have a supply of medical rations and food rations because we've been buying them off the market, but now we're going to produce our own. And the main reason for this is basically to use up the water that we have that we're not really using up. And by really, I mean we're not using the water. <laughs> we have it, but we're not using it. But now we will. Hey Jeff, welcome back. John Luke Picard show up in this game yet? Spices, is this a Dunes mod? Wow, Jeff, you're all over the place. Trying to get me in trouble with all these IP owners. No Star Trek, no Dune. This is all about flying around in space. No nothing on planets here. Admiral Gandalf up next, yes. So yeah, so we have time for that stuff to get built. Should I build more though? How big is our population? Our workforce is only 11 grand, currently growing. But spices? Well, you need spices to make food. Otherwise, you're just eating paste. Admiral Gandalf of Ix. How about that? Does not get it. Spicing food? Putting spices in your food? Otherwise, you're eating paste. We'll see. In space. <laughs> they grow the stuff. And they turn it into paste. Right? And it really it tastes like, you know, really tasty unless you put spices on it. It must flow. The spice must always flow. Yeah, we should be good for this stuff. Okay, so you're fine. Of course, now having done it, having had done that there, we should probably we're not building, or we're not making any food over here. We're just, we're folk that are shipping this stuff in. Our workforce needs to grow a little bit faster. Again, the station is still very much being built. Why not just use a like, cyber thingy connected to one's brain to make you think the stuff you're eating tastes pleasant? Somehow I think your brain will figure it out eventually. Eh, we'll make it so the station doesn't actually make its own food. Although it's got room. We can do it down here. Eh, let's do that. Be easier to keep. But then we have to cart in water. We've got one thing of liquid. 
Nah, we'll have them card in the food. Get a card in the food. Okay, that'll work. Wow, the Corvettes are done already. That was quick. Attack with Commander, Alpha Group. No? Okay, so this will be... This is going to be Empire Raider Patrol 3. That work. Okay, then you guys are going to be stationed at a we're stationed in Mustafar. Oh, we do some behavior, don't we? Behavior. We want to patrol, patrol, and arid patrol is Mustafar. Careful for flying limbs. Okay, so they'll be fine. Think of it. Rather than eating, one just does a daily blood transfusion to incorporate the good stuff you need in your body and to remove the waste from it. Probably done as one in sleeping. Ew. Rather than eating, one just does a daily blood transfusion to incorporate the good stuff you need in your body to remove the waste from it. And to remove the waste. Your body's more complicated than just blood transfusion, so Jeff. I mean, I guess unless, unless you want to be some type of a cyborg, I guess, but there's always waste, right? Because it's more than just, so blood transfusion incorporate the good stuff. The good stuff being proteins. Proteins, when they're, when they're used up, break down into stuff that needs to be removed. Right? So I don't know if you can do that through a blood transfusion. You'd have to have some type of, because you're, you're, the rest of your body's still going to want to do what it wants to do. Like your intestines and your stomach and stuff, they still want to work. And your livers and your ki your liver and your kidneys, they're going to want to work too. Because that's what they're designed to do. They're, I don't think they're really designed to go. Oh yeah, this is this is the vitamins and th things I'm looking for. It's already a machine for this, but it's not really ideal. No, it's it's not something you really want to do on a regular basis. It's more of a if your body isn't working correctly, this is your option to find the right blood for that body and it won't just kill you for it. Yeah. They become the body's new appendices. <laughs> hey, the appendix has a job. It's to keep certain doctors in business. Because somebody's got to remove those things sometimes. Okay. So, Marine Fleet. I guess we can watch these guys fly around. We at the end of Plus it has to be the at the end of books. This person just standing around doing nothing. Standing on the bridge just staring. Oh, the appendix. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I get it. 
could technically bypass the intestines, I guess, but it'd be really difficult to get the right mix of nutrients in. So in that blood you're transfusing. Well, yeah, they've, the, even if you just in, put the nutrients into the blood that you're transfusing into your body, not all your nutrients. I don't know. Because like I said, the, there's your proteins and your vitamins and stuff. They, I mean, I know that goes through the blood, but it's all absorbed in through the intestines, typically. So I don't know. It's all the future, in the future, far, far future, yes. Like they are in space and space stations. This is a weird conversation. It is. Hey, how come I just lost views? No, why did I lose my uh, remote control, or remote uh, view viewing from there? You know, what? I forgot to give these guys formation. Set formation. V shape, triangle, line of breast, line, line of stir, inverse the V. Ah, uh, V shape. I just replace food with the right kind of nutrient paste. Well, that's easy enough to do. Yes, this all started with Jeff asking <laughs> about the spices. Because we're, we're making, you know, our space stations are, are basically providing their own food to themselves. And it goes uh, agricultural goods. Uh, meat and spices. And that's what you need to make your food for your people that live on stations. And question, Jeff's question was, what about spices? Give whatever nutrient paste you're ingesting have the right kind of texture and taste. <laughs> the right kind of nutrient paste. Do you like McDonald's? Well, there's a, there's a sponsor I'm not going to have. Thanks, Skybird. Oh my god. Here's here's something I just thought of though. If you don't have stuff moving through your intestines and whatever in the right amounts and right consistency, you have a tendency to develop cancer in your intestines. Just so you know that. Cuz you know there's a whole reason why they tell you to eat, you know, uh, high fiber foods and whatever cuz your body kind of needs it to keep your your health your your system working correctly. And if you're just eating nutrient paste, I have a feeling you're going to have a real big problem with uh, intestinal ca cancer in the future. <laughs> so you got to remember, our bodies work the way they they do for a reason. Something that might be f uh, fixable or wouldn't be a problem if uh, here's another issue. Your stomach and intestines would atrophy. There you go. There's that too. See, there's all kinds of problems to introducing these things that your your body is expecting. Nutrient McDonald's in the same sentence. Well, there is nutrients in McDonald's. Just go to their stores or their restaurants. and they, Don't they have that up on the wall now by law here? Hey, Tiger, welcome back. I think it's a requirement for McDonald's and fast food places to actually put uh, nutrient information up on the walls about their food. That's been a thing, I think, for the last 20 years or so. But what if it is a nutrient paste that has the stuff in it to contradict the cancer issue? I don't know. Oh, I haven't been in McDonald's forever either. I just, I think the last time I was actually inside of McDonald's was back in the mid nineties. And I, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing stuff up on the wall. About nutrient, inf nu nutritious information about our nutrient was it uh, nutrition information about the food they're serving. If organs aren't necessary anymore, they could just be removed. And I do see a future where that happens, where the cyborgs rise up. Yes, you guys been eating edibles? I have been, but no, no th, no THC in mine. Just uh, the CBD, no actual THC. <laughs> Sounds like it, doesn't it? 
This is future high-tech super nutrient paste and not just our run-of-the-mill nutrient paste that we have available today. Yeah, I think that's an assumption the rest of us are making, Jeff, or not making. It has nutrients, they just don't decay like real food does. Welcome back, Aeolus. Upload our minds, then work through robots. Food paste, uh, problem solved, sort of. That's what I'm really looking forward to. Not actually needing these uh, biological forms anymore. I'll be happy living in a, I think, a mechanical body. Anyway, these guys arrived. These guys have arrived where they're supposed to be, because that's our main fleet right there. Those are our Star Destroyers. Because you got faster than light tech here, right? Um... Sort of. There, You have to use gates in order to travel from system to system. We're technically not traveling faster than the speed of light, I don't think. Head in a jar, eating fish flakes. Yes. Well, maybe not that bad. I'd like to be able to get up and move around. Anyway, that, like I said, that's our main fleet right there. Those are our Star Destroyers. They need to go someplace else. Okay, so combat fleet. You guys are going over... Where do we want our invasion to begin? Here or down here? I think we want to go here and work our way that way. So, fleet. Yep, so send our main fleet over here, and then we'll have to go that way. Gates, so black hole stuff, kind of. Um, I don't know if it's it's not really black hole type stuff. Maybe invade Andor, or did Darth Vader already blow it up? Andor? No, you're thinking Alderaan, and Alderaan is already blown up in this mod. This takes place after Return of the Jedi. So Alderaan exists. It just, it's nothing but a bunch of asteroids. See? Alderaan. If we go up here, you go in the system, it's nothing but asteroids. It's kind of funny. You had one letter right. You had a couple letters right. They just weren't the right amount or in the right order necessarily. Okay, so our fleet's going to be heading up that way. We'll join them when they get in place. Uh, how much money do I have? 248 million. Oh, ships. So we have freighters floating around. Another one. Oh, is you, are you in the right spot now? Let's see, fill shortages. How about advanced auto trade? Yay. Okay, so for you. Advanced auto trade, you're going to do everything except for contraband alcohol. Had chemicals and head spice. I don't know if that's illegal stuff or not. I would think so. So we'll turn those off. I forget what the actual illegal goods to most uh, people are, or most factions. This should be fine. Okay, so that's what you're going to trade in. We're going to have you based out of... Um, have you coming out of Triton, I think. And buy stuff from no more than... Oh, actually, no. Buy three, sell, wherever? Sure. Okay, so he'll be adventurous. So people. Back up. Professional not working. Actions. The actual people thing. Personnel management, there we go. So, we're looking for 
captains that don't suck. Usually all our captains already have jobs. I did this wrong, didn't I? Slice so skill roll for captain. Oh, we got 70 pages worth of stuff. So, we're not really... All our captains already have roles as captains. All our good captains have roles as captains, I should say. Basically, we're looking for the three-star captains. But they're already... Captains. That's not good. It can't be right. These guys have been out for doing stuff. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So, I was looking for a service crew that actually have decent captain skills, but... I mean, there's some service screen, there's a manager, but they're not a three stars, so it doesn't matter. That's yeah, okay. Basically, we're just trying to find a good job for this guy, this freighter over here, the one that doesn't have a number next to his name. What should we do with them? That's yeah, a sign of two solace there. All these freighters, are they actually doing anything? Seem to be doing some work at least, so that's good. There's still many more freighters, which is fine. our main fleet and what are they doing? Hey, they're moving. Okay, we don't need to be with him anymore. Oh, Lord. Okay, so this is the bridge of our Star Destroyer. See, working hard. All the people working hard are hardly working. And this bridge changes sizes based on the Star Destroyer that you're in. Like, the Victory Star Destroyer is like half this size. Looks very clean. Well, it should be. It's an Imperial ship. 
except for the stars that are flying through the walls or windows. Imperial Star Destroyer 1. So pretty that's a little immobilizer there. As far as travel goes, how do you travel between the systems? There's this jump beacon. There's Dark a now. jump beacon there. Who am I fighting? No one at the moment. That should be changing relatively soon, though. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hello. Hello. That crew talking to people. <laughs> kind of talking to me, I think. There's the pit. Where our crew is. They shouldn't, shouldn't they, all those points be uh, manned. Which movie are we at here? This is after Return of the Jedi. But before Episode 7. Make sense? So basically... The fall of the Empire, basic. The Empire has pretty much fallen for the most part. I mean, it still exists. Like, we're down in the, basically the southern part of the map. And we're pretty much affiliated with the Imperial Ascendancy, which is kind of like uh, the follow-up to the Empire. Sort of, kind of. They don't have a lot of room to play around with, though. The actual Empire. The Galactic Empire is all the white hexes up here still. So they got still a big chunk. And the blue is the New Republic. Before the Suckwolves, yes. Before the Suckwolves. But there's the gate, Jeff. It's how we move between the systems. Going through those things. Which one are those? Before, after the entire franchise. Wow, Aeolus. Wow. Imperial Star Destroyer 1. Not lined up very well there. Definitely an Imperial pilot. Gate is like a fax machine or sorta a fax machine. I don't I don't know what that's supposed to mean exactly. Basically just flies through the gate and it takes you to the gate that it's connected to in a different star system. And for some reason we missed it. Not sure how we missed it, but we did. Like a fax. You take a letter, put it on the fax, and then it comes out at another spot. Oh, yeah, kind of, that kind of general idea, yeah. Although, think of it more as a space tunnel. 
because you're not really being converted into digital matter. It's basically just doing an acceleration to the other gate. Every time you see the little flashing, that means somebody's moving through. Jeez. The second film's never clicked. The sacred film's never clicked with you, so I lose track of which ones I'm not supposed to like. It's entirely up to you which ones you don't like. Not everybody likes them. Mrs. Gimpy actually doesn't like the Star Wars movies. TV shows are a different story, though. She lo she loves The Mandalorian. Transfer malfunctions can cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah, in this case, they'll cost cost you a ship if you're not careful. Because you approach these gates at the wrong time. Somebody comes flying through the other end and smashes right into you. Works you to tears, but, well, I'm here for Gimpy shenanigans. What shenanigans? Is she more of a Star Trek type, then? The original Star Trek, yes. She prefers the original Star Trek over new generation, like or next generation, that kind of stuff. I don't know why exactly, but she does. And she also likes uh, Stargate SG-1, too. Because she feels that's a, a more similar to uh, the original Star Trek series, where the general idea is you, you travel around and explore new places all the time. And I explained to her that's kind of what next generation is, too. She goes, but I don't like that one so much. <laughs> Which is the original? Which one's the next generation? The original is the one with with the Kirk and Spock. Is the original series? Next generation is Jean Luc or what's his face? Uh, Xavier, Professor Xavier is in the next generation. Yes, I call him by his character names because I can't remember his real one. <laughs> Patrick Stewart. Thank you. See, I need a reminder. I prefer Professor X, though. Uh-oh. See? Run into ships. Bad things happen. Dude from Excalibur and Doom. Yes, he actually was in Excalibur and Doom, wasn't he? I forget about that. Let's get them confused, because when I was a kid, in kindergarten, they were broadcasting Star Trek, and it was the show with Patrick Stewart. Yeah, that's Next Generation. Yes, the 1984 Dune. He was, uh, he was his trainer, right? What's his name? Gurney. Oh, sorry, he's Gurney, right? I think he was Gurney in Dune. Yeah, Gurney Halleck or Hassock or something like that. Yeah, it started with an H. Hey, I'm at 250 million now. But we're saving our money because we need lots and lots of money in order to. Because we just need, what, a two, it was like 247 to buy the station module to build lar extra large ships, but it's like another, what, 700 million or 500 million, something like that, to buy the blueprint for, sp uh, for the Star Destroyers. That doesn't include the engine and weapon parts either. It's going to be expensive to build Star Destroyers, just to get them started.
Not get a dark force rebate on those costs? No. Dark force. What the hell is it? It's supposed to be a dark force rebate. What are you doing, you Jeff? So all our freighters out of our wharf are working. So that means Beta Girl. I don't know. Kind of like uh, these are not the droids you are looking for type of stuff. Oh, I mean the force. Not the dark force, that's the light force. <sighs> you know, it's really annoying we have to explain this stuff to people about stuff that's been around for, you know, 40 years. Almost 50. <laughs> production on the station. So there's the agricultural goods, there's the meat. Agricultural goods producing. Uh, 300, three, sorry, 3300 per hour roughly. No, sorry, that's what we have in storage. Our food rations haven't been built. That this hasn't been built yet, so it gives us time to build up a little bit on agricultural stuff. Which producing thirteen thousand per hour. That'll keep us going for a while. Spices aren't up and running yet. Meat almost eighty five hundred per hour. We should be good. And workforce, 12,000. And going up 161 for the next batch. Workforce efficiency is a whopping 67%. Nobody's ordering any fighters, that's not good. How am I supposed to pay the bills if you guys aren't already ordering, ordering fighters? Oh, the Recon Fighter Pro. Those are efficient clones? Because they're not clones, they're people. Station's already up to 54 million. Okay. Are we there yet? We're not there yet. Star Destroyers are not the fastest. They take forever to get from point A to point B. You'd think they'd be faster, but... Go to ludicrous speed, you get there faster. Yeah, unfortunately, these didn't come with that feature. I was tempted to return them because they didn't, but... I figured, eh, I got them. Might as well use them. Too much hassle to return them. Too much paperwork. Maybe just fast forward this part of the movie then. This isn't a movie though, Jeff. It will be in a couple of days, but right now it's not a movie. And we just ran into our own ship again. I don't know why he's sitting in front of us. Oh. 
Katana Dreadnought. Veronica's vengeance always getting on the way. Got all the TIE fighters just waiting to do something. They're just sitting there waiting. Arbor class. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Okay. Go get some more water while you are up. Okay. Your next break is in one hour. Okay, well, it's a good time to take a break because we're not really doing anything at the moment <laughs> other than being assistance, fish, and fun stuff. Oh, because they're not at their budget levels. Keep holding out for the official Gimpini Stream Flamethrower. The official Gimpini Stream Flamethrower. I think those are illegal. I haven't really looked into it yet, but I have a feeling they're illegal. Unless you're a billionaire, I think those are the only ones that are allowed to make them. I'm not a billionaire. Unless we get lucky. It's the, the next drawing is tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Elon's flamethrower, right. That, that was my reference. Glad somebody got it. Anyway, I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.